40. Stable at step three. Twenty-eight. Ten thousand locked. Twenty-five. Status check. Go Atlas. Centaur. Fifteen. Ten. Minus ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Five. Four. Three. Atlas engine ignition. One. Zero and liftoff of the first Atlas V ELV rocket carrying the STP-1 mission for the United States Air Force and the Department of Defense. Booster pitch program is in. Vehicle body rates look good in response to the pitch program. Booster engines operating well. MTU pump speeds are good. Boost pump speeds are stable. Injector pressure is a good parameter. Muscle battery voltages are stable. Tank pressures are good. Body rates continue to look very good. Mark one. Now pass through maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle body rates look very good. Controlling right down the middle. Bus and battery voltages are stable. Tank pressures look very good. Current altitude is 9.8 miles in altitude. Downrange position is 8.9 miles. And the speed is 2,200 miles per hour. Vehicles now find the alpha bias stern phase of flight. Body rates continue to look very good. All systems are normal at this point. Close loop stern has been enabled. Vehicle rates look good. And we've heard the RCS pyro valve that systems now pressurizing the flight levels and signatures look good. Current altitude is 23 nautical miles. Downrange distance is 36 miles. Velocity is 4,188 miles per hour. All systems are stable as the vehicle accelerates through 3.6 Gs. Throttling to maintain a constant 5G acceleration level. Booster engine continues to operate well. Pump speeds are stable. Injector pressures look good. Currently accelerating at 4.8 Gs. We've begun the 5G throttle segment. Blue space cooldown is underway. The pogo vent has been fired. Our all 10 pump temperatures look good in response to blue space cooldown. And we've gone throttling to 4.6 Gs in preparation for Pico. Blue space cooldown is complete. And we have Pico engine shutdown. Looks good. Blocks and fuel restart. Ignition and
and full thrust. We have indication of payload firing jettison. Jettison event looks good. Centaur PU is being commanded at fixed angles. And Centaur steering has been enabled. Vehicle control is very good. Let's get your update, Don. We'll just be voice only over STK. And coming to Don for audio, we're not coming to my camera. And Don, you're up in three, two, one, and you're up, Don. This is Atlas Mission Control at L plus five minutes, six seconds into the flight, and the vehicle performance is as expected up to this point. Mock events are occurring as planned. The Atlas stage uh, performed as planned, and a few moments ago, the booster engine cutoff occurred, and the Atlas vehicle and the interstage adapter were jettisoned from the vehicle, and Centaur main engine start number one has occurred as planned. The first burn is underway. Uh, this burn is about uh, 10 minutes long. And we are continuing downrange. The vehicle uh, now some 141 nautical miles downrange from Cape Canaveral and traveling at a velocity of some 16,350 feet per second. The launch vehicle again is performing as planned. And again, the payload fearing also has been jettisoned. So we'll continue in this uh, first Centaur burn, the first of three burns for this complex mission. And uh, at uh, approximately Uh, 18 minutes elapsed into the flight, we'll have the first spacecraft separation. That will be the separation of the Orbital Express spacecraft. This is Atlas Mission Control at L plus 6 minutes, 13 seconds, and counting. Center so RL-10 engine operation looks very good. Chamber pressures are stable. Launch pump discharge pressure looks good. Material inlet pressures are as expected for the mixture ratio being commanded. Coming up on the format change. And we have had the format change, a slight loss of data associated with the change. Centaur should be playing back the digital telepack at this point. Continue to see our RCS warming firings as expected. The line temperatures are warming towards bottle temperature as planned. Centaur has begun its PU limiting. Engine operation continues to look very good in response to PU. Chamber pressures are as expected. Pump discharge and fuel venturi looks very good. Centaur is currently at a altitude of 205 nautical miles. Downrange distance, 818 miles and a velocity of 11,875 miles per hour. We continue to see periodic RCS firings. Signatures look good. Line temperatures are warming towards bottle temperature. Engine operation continues to look nominal. Centaur bus and battery voltages look good. Tank pressures are stable. Helium storage bottle pressures are as expected for this point in the burn. Current altitude is 235 miles. Downrange distance is 1,100 miles. And the velocity is 12,581 miles per hour.
that are continues to operate nominally at this point. Our old 10 engine performance looks very good. Chamber pressures are within expected parameters. Our PU continues to operate oxidizer rich as expected for this early portion of the burn. Continue to see our RCS warming firings at this point. Line temperatures have warmed to bottle temperatures. The system performance looks very good. Center of tank pressures are stable. Storage bottle pressures look good. Bus and battery voltages are stable. Vehicle body rates are good. Control and right down the middle. Range track continues to show the vehicle making good progress right down the middle of the range. And since our PU is beginning to control towards a uh, more nominal mixture ratio, having worked off the excess oxidizer. All Centaur systems continue to operate very well. Current altitude is 263 nautical miles. Downrange distance is 1,717 miles. Velocity is 1,446 miles per hour. Centaur systems continue to perform, perform very well. Continue to see uh, appropriate signatures on the RCS system. PU is now operating at nominal mixed ratios. Two minutes to Miko. Our tank pressures are stable. Storage bottle pressures are good. Both battery voltages are within expected limits at this point. Vehicle body rates are controlling right down the middle. One minute to Miko. Continue to see appropriate signatures on the RCS system. Engine operation continues to look very good. We have RF disabled at this point. And we have IAP vanish. Sent our PUs being commanded to fixed angles in preparation for Miko. And we have main engine cutoff. Engine shutdown looks good. Tank pressures are stable. Storage bottle pressures look good. 
Less than battery voltages are stable. Center has gone to 4S signaling. And Centaur has begun the turn to OE separation attitude.